songs have the power to stay with us long after we have forgotten words, sermons, or messages that we have heard. This is why worshiping God through songs helps remind us of what God is doing in our lives and in the world around us. Scriptures mention over 121 times, sing to the Lord or sing to the Lord a new song over and over. As these weeks have moved on, have you thought about what kind of new song God wants you to have? Just like Revelation 21.5 says, He who was seated on the throne says, I am making everything new. God wants to renew our hearts and minds every single day. And many times he does this through song. I would say the next question we must ask ourselves is how am I allowing God to work and speak into me? How do I participate in being made new so I can find the words to the new song he's giving me? This is everyone's dilemma because the world we live in is incredibly loud. So if you find yourself having a hard time hearing new thoughts or feeling the new heart God is making in you, try making these things daily habits. Number one, turn off all other noise. If we want to, we can input content from the news, social media, and entertainment from the moment we open our eyes in the morning until the moment we close them at night. The reality is when we are constantly surrounded by noise, we miss things God is saying to us. So practice being quiet in a way that works for you. Maybe that's five minutes, twice a day, or 10 minutes once a day, but find a way in which you can turn off all other noise and say like Samuel did in the Old Testament, speak Lord, for your servant is listening. Number two, take in God's words. Maybe you prefer listening to scripture rather than reading it. Maybe you want to write down a verse down in a journal. Find one way to input God's word because what he is doing today will line up with what he has already done in the past. God cannot contradict himself. Knowing his word helps renew our minds and heart and hear the song he is singing in the world. Step three. Tell him one thing you heard him say in the quiet or one thing you heard him say in his word. Tell him one thing you want to remember even in the middle of all the other noise you will walk through that day. Tell him what he's done for you in the past and what you know he's doing for you in the present. Tell him not because he's forgotten or he doesn't know, because actively remembering creates gratitude and it connects you to him. Any good parent will do good things for their kids no matter what, of course. But don't you love it when your kids are mature enough and thoughtful enough to recognize what you have done for them, right? Who doesn't like that? God's will is for you to have a renewed heart and mind, so I hope these things can help you in that process. Turn off all the other noise. Take in his word and tell him what one thing you know he said. May God bless you all and keep writing a new song in your hearts. Thank you for joining us here at TVCC. God bless you and we love you.